everyone, it's Mona here at Crab Clutch, and today is Friday. That means it's another Coaster Friday. Today we're going to do some Christmas bell coasters. We're going to make a couple of bell coasters. These are actually ornaments. They have a little twine in there. It's from the dollar store. Um, but I'm not going to need the twine. You could make these as ornaments instead. But they're a good size for coasters. So I'm going to make two of them. I'm going to do one silver and one gold. So the first thing I'm going to do is paint them silver and gold. So all we're going to do is take our silver and our gold paint and paint right over these. They'll dry pretty quick and if you want to do two coats feel free to do two coats. But you definitely want to do both sides. We're going to go to town with the glitter. Once you get them painted, the silver and the gold, just go ahead and let them dry. These have dried well enough and now all I'm going to do is take some painter's tape and just run it on the back of the whole thing. I'm going to take my bone folder and burnish it. So I know I have good contact. Now I'm going to just cut around it, just like this, to cut off the excess tape. I have my resin mix. I have a half an ounce in each of these cups and I think that's all I'll need because these are not really huge. I'm going to add my glitter. Mix it up some more. I do love my glitter. And I'm using the very fine glitter. I'm going to just pour it right on here. I'm going to encourage it to go down the sides as well. Yeah, half an ounce will be plenty for these. Then I'm going to take my lighter and I'm going to just pop the bubbles. And then I'm going to let them sit a minimum of 12 hours before I even come back and touch them. Our coasters have cured, they're nice and shiny. Now I just have to pull off the tape on the back. We definitely have bunches of drips. And I just cut around the edges. Now the longer you wait to do this, the harder it will be. If you give them a little cut, they will pop right off. Because they don't particularly want to stick to the tape. I have the backs all cleaned up. Now I want to put some cork on the back just as a protective layer. I have my roll of cork, which is just shelf liner. And these are a great size to fit even on little scrap pieces. So I'm going to take the backing off my shelf liner. It's already sticky. As a little extra insurance, I like to add a bead of glue around the edge. And that's just to ensure everything stays in place, even if the stickiness of this doesn't last forever. This should. So I'll press it down. Now we've got the benefit of the glue and the stickiness of the shop liner. I'm going to take my craft knife, run it along the edge, cut it out just like that. Now we lost that one detail and all I'm going to do with my paint marker is go over it. You can still kind of see it through. 
So that's just a little detail. And now I'm going to decorate. Very easily, I have this tinsel garland, also left over from a previous project from the dollar store. And I'm gonna add some glue. In this case, I'm doing hot glue, but you can do the other glue as well. I'm gonna press it right on here like this. And I wanna keep it as far to the top as I can only because I wanna make sure there's still room for me to put a cup or a bottle of water or whatever on, on top of the coaster. So I'm gonna put a glob of glue here. And I'm gonna put three of these jingle bells also from another project and from the Dollar Tree. And now we have a little silver bell coaster. Now we have glitter bell coasters. And they're perfect for water bottles or whatever you want to put on there. Even my mug with the big base can fit on there. It's going to overhang a little bit, but it'll still be up off a table. And there's cork on the back to protect the tables. I hope you guys like the bell coasters. They're very glittery and shiny. And I do love my glitter. And I hope you guys give them a try. And they were made out of wood pieces that I found at the dollar store. It was like a package of five for a dollar. So it's definitely worthwhile to go scour your dollar stores, your dollar trees, and see what you can find. Now I made them as coasters, but you could definitely use them as ornaments instead. So thank you guys so much for being here. I will definitely see you next time. Remember, life is too short not to shimmer. So grab your glue gun and your glitter. Stay safe, guys. Happy holidays. Bye.